So, okay, guys, now we're here at the second part of our top 10 2020 action figure of the year. So, enjoy! Here are the top 5. guys breaking up the top five okay our fifth uh, best action figure of the year is none other than the Marvel Legends old man hot eye okay one major verse one major reason for the body plus okay the biggest reason is the head just look at the head scalp head scalp I mean okay almost beats every action figure this head this head alone is worth the price of this two pack uh, Marvel Legends action figure okay guys remember this see this face almost pitch the merciless almost the action figures that uh, we can use to beat this uh, bad ass uh, this great uh, very detailed Action figure, old man hug. I you can almost use him to almost to every action figure out there. The beats. Okay, you can almost also use the Wolverine, the other figures that uh, you saw on my review of this action figure. Okay, that's why it's our pip. Okay, he breaks the okay the top five uh, list of the action figure of the 2020. Okay, probably the best uh, Marvel Legends out there. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, let me check the list. Okay, okay. This was not to surprise you, but uh, this is probably the best Marvel Legends. Okay, so stand by, sit back, relax, and let's wait for the other top four. Okay, action figure of the year for 2020. Okay, making it to the port spot is the Grim Knight. Okay, okay, probably my best uh, Batman figure of the year because okay, uh, I don't have the Flashpoint Batman yet, so I don't have the what you call this the White Knight Batman yet. I only have the uh what you call this the batman that came with the merciless bat okay but i said i like this batman batman compared to the batman uh that batman i like this a lot i like this a lot better okay it's the face the head scout the cow and the detail uh, okay body parts the gas the accessories what's missing is the cape so that's why it's just on the port list. If all if he had the escape, probably could shoot up this shoot up. He could he could probably shoot up to the second or the probably the best action figure of the year. Okay, but uh, Mark Farley misses the cape, so I'll just probably put him to number four. But but that's not a bad spot for me. Okay, the port best action figure for me. Okay, guys. So let's move on to our, our remaining three best action figure of the year. Okay guys, our third best action figure is Okay, I prepared this one over the first Batman who laps because this one had wings, had detailed wings. Although I don't have a weapon, I still prepared him. You can borrow it. Okay, what I like is about his detailed wings. Okay, the leather suit, the leather jacket, the very detailed wings. Okay, so this is our third. Okay, as you can see, you can. Okay, you can see his tongue. Okay, so watch my review on this one. I know I've already reviewed it. Just uh, view my previous video about this uh, Batman Collapse action figure. Okay, I love this. I love this Batman Collapse figure. And the with wings. Okay, 
That's why he's a uh, top three on our on our list. Okay. So McFarley has done a great job uh, uh, creating this uh, DC multiverse uh, Dark Knight metal uh, action figure line. Okay? Very cool, very awesome, very detailed. It's just wow. Wow, I've just been amazed, amazed by this toy. Okay. Our number three, the Batman Hlaps. Okay guys, our second, our top two action figure of the year is the heaviest action figure I've touched, okay? It's so super heavy, don't know how many kilos these are, how many pounds. Okay, the Devastator, okay? Also known as the Batman Earth One or the Batman Doomsday, okay? Devastator. A second, just look at the details. Okay, the spike is spike. Okay, just look at it. Okay, the plastic mouth you can open it. Okay, you can open his mouth. Okay, logo spike on his hands. Very much like a uh, doomsday. Okay, well, Barling has done a very good job, an excellent job on this one. And there might be some dispute here if this is the best action figure of the year or probably the second but it, uh, okay the it, the number one figure wasn't released on 2020 or I didn't have it on 2020 this will probably be the best action figure of 2020 but then again okay the best is yet to come okay Devastator at number two, the happiest McFarlane, okay, the best McFarlane figure of the year. This is probably the best McFarlane figure of the year for 2020. No doubt about it. Okay, guys, I'm excited for number one. Okay, you excited? Okay, let's do some recap. Okay, let's do some recap. Number 10, G.I. Joe's Snake Eyes. Number nine, okay, the Taskmasters from Marvel Legends, okay. and number seven, oh, the number eight, uh, the Infected Superman, okay, number seven, Marvel Legends, uh, Wolverine, okay, number six, Storm Collectibles, Dark Seed. Number five, okay, Marble Legends, Hawkeye. Okay, number four, one, McFarlane's The Grim Knight. And number three is The Batman Who Laps. Okay, and last but not least, Oh, no, I mean the second. Number two, the Devastator from McFarlane. Okay, so now let's welcome number one. Okay, guys, my number one, my top one action figure of the year is none other than, okay, Storm Collectibles Lobo. Okay, been searching for this, uh, badass action figure since the 90s although they uh, managed to release some Lobo action figures but this is probably the best looking uh, Lobo action figure with uh, two alt, alt head two alt heads and you can also remove the hair okay uh, okay I've been looking for these figures okay as I said before mm -hmm. Looking for this figure since 1990s, the 90s, and this is probably the coolest, rightfully, where it belongs. The top action figure of the year, okay? Let's look at it. And by the way, guys, watch for my review of this uh, Lobo action figure by Storm Collectibles. Okay? There you go, bad boy on this jacket, very detailed. So, 
Okay, there you have it, guys. Okay, my number one action figure of the year. So, what about you? Who's your top 10 uh, action figure of the year? Who's your top action figure of the year? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel, Toy Hunter. So, my number one. Okay, from Storm Collectibles. DC Injustice uh, from the video game Injustice God Among Us Lobo my number one okay so by the way okay among the top 10 okay we've got uh, we've got two from Storm Collectibles and four from McFarlane okay and two from Marvel Legends and one from G.I. Joe okay that that made up our top 10 action figure of the year so that's it guys just comment down below what you can what do you think of my top 10 and who do you think deserves to be the number one so we, we have our very own uh, opinion so that's it guys so comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel toy hunter okay guys Till next time, see you next time, bye bye.